be sure to subscribe to my channel, turn on that notification bell and hit the like button. I'm always doing the most, finish my cup and reload. Let it swing right back, let it swing right back. Hey you guys, welcome back to another video. Today's Ninja Squad shout out goes to Erin White and Mad Max. So thank you so much guys. If you want to be featured in my next video, then remember to leave a comment down below and I'll be choosing at random. So the products I'll be using in today's video are as follows. There are some extras as well like the core powders and clear, which I'll just leave listed down below. This one is chestnut chestnut we also have custard pie which is this beautiful mustardy color i'm also going to be using cinnamon which is glorious i love using it and i'm also going to be using beyonce which is this gorgeous gold supercharged super fine holographic pre-mixed glitter infused acrylic I'll also be using metallic light gold loose glitter just because I love chunky glitters and always like to try and incorporate them. I'm using toasted rose cover powder and to prime my nails, I very rarely show like the core pro products but I'm using Pro Bond and I'm also going to be using super gloss as well. Okay guys, so this is a set we are creating today and I cannot wait to share it with you guys. If you haven't already, pause the video or just scroll down a little bit, give it a thumbs up, hit share and then come back and start watching. I would really, really appreciate that. So I've already gone ahead and sculpted my clear base. Now, please do forgive my application and everything like that in this video because I want to let you know I am currently doing this set with my non-dominant hand, which means I'm doing it with my left hand and I am right-handed. So I have very, very minimal control especially since I haven't done my nails for so long on this hand. I've just been wearing gel polish, so it's a little bit of a struggle, but I still wanted to film this set and share it with you guys. So yeah, just forgive me for that. It's not the best, but it still is pretty and I thought you guys would still like to see the process. So I've gone ahead and applied custard pie to the pinky and I've done that three quarters of the way up the nail and then I'm coming in with toasted rose and I'm just applying that to the blend line and blending it down over the top of that colour and it's giving me a beautiful ombre. Toasted rose is perfect for a, a beautiful light ombre with any colour, it just melts into the colours and looks gorgeous. I'm just coming in and applying that cuticle bead and then blending that down and then once I've done that and I'm happy with it whilst that is still wet I've cut up some of the gold unicorn film which is from the unicorn film set and I'm just placing that onto the nail because I wanted to bring that gold through with something else other than just glitter as well. I think when you add a lot of elements into a set of nails it just becomes really interesting and looks overall stunning. So after I've applied that, I'm going to move on to the next nail and I'm doing an extended smile line. If you want to see my tips and tricks and learn exactly how to create a perfect crisp smile line in detail, then definitely check out my online course. I have it listed down below. Honestly, students that have taken this course have had amazing results and honestly, I am blown away with how well and how much they have actually improve their skills from my online class it's amazing to see so definitely check it out if you are interested in upping your game on your smile lines so yeah i'm just going to complete that and then as that's set in i'm going to move on to the next nail So as I said, I kind of struggled filming this set, so you will see a few different angles of me filming. Honestly, it was crazy, guys. It was a struggle. It took me like, oh, God only knows, five, six hours, if not longer. It was crazy, um, but definitely worth it. So I'm just coming in with cinnamon and just placing that at the free edge of this nail. And then again, I'm going to come in with toasted rose and blend that over the top. Now I couldn't, for the life of me, get this smooth because 
with using my left hand I kept kind of jabbing the acrylic up and making it lumpy and bumpy instead of like a smooth application it just wasn't working for me but honestly I wasn't too fussed because I knew that I was going to be adding glitter over the top and then of course capping in clear so honestly even though it bothered me a little bit it didn't bother me too much because I knew it wasn't going to be an issue so I'm just coming in with that cuticle bead and blending that down and then I'll be adding Beyonce which is a gorgeous super fine gold glitter acrylic and then I'm going to come in and top that with the metallic light gold which honestly this nail is probably one of my favourites out of the entire set it just looks so elegant and sophisticated and the colours were perfect for like autumn you know these the leaves are all falling just gorgeous gorgeous beautiful Okay, so once I'm happy with that, which I think looks gorgeous, I'm coming in and I'm doing my colour blocking nails. So this is done in stages because between each colour we need to allow it to set. So I'm starting off first by creating the mustard coloured triangle and I'm using custard pie to do that. The brush that I'm using is the number 12 from Glitter Planet, so all of our number 12s are the same. The pure brush is different because it's synthetic, so definitely choose the 100% Kalinske. Of course, if you are vegan, the pure brush is an alternative alternative um, brush to use so yeah I'm just making sure to take care of the side walls make sure it's nice and even and neat you want to get it the closest shape possible to what you are trying to achieve Moving back to my extended smile line nail and I'm applying custard pie to the free edge and I'm just blending that down and then back up towards that smile just to make sure I have a nice coverage. And then I'm going to add a little bit more right up to that smile and then after that I'm coming in with chestnut which is a deep rich metallic brown. It's gorgeous, honestly beautiful. Um, I'm just making sure to tuck that right up into that smile line and blend it down the nail. Again, I teach all of this with the pink and white smile line course that I have online. And then you can just swap out the white for any colour that you desire. And literally, the possibility is endless. But yeah, don't see this as an example though, because as I said, I'm using my left hand. The skill in that in my online course, of course, is a lot higher. Um, so yeah, now that I'm happy with that, I'm going to come in and add some of that gold glitter. So again, I'm applying the um, Beyonce and then I'm going to come in with metallic light gold. Don't forget as well guys to follow me on Instagram, I'll link it down below. So to scroll down a little bit in the description box, click the link and hit follow because I upload loads of content there and I'm constantly active on my stories, sharing sneak peeks, behind the scenes and all of that good stuff so you definitely don't want to miss out. So I'm moving back to that colour blocking nail now and I'm coming in with the next portion which is chestnut and I'm just filling in these sections at the side of the triangle and making sure to finish them off straight because I will be having a nice crisp straight line there where I'm going to be doing a band of cinnamon which honestly this combo of colour blocking nail looked fire. Anyway, moving on to my thumbnail whilst that sets and I'm just doing a marble of all of the colours basically. I'm using toasted rose, cinnamon, um, custard pie and Beyonce and chestnut and instead of doing a complete full colour block I wanted to keep the tip semi clear so I've left some gaps and I wanted it to kind of fizzle off and fade out. As you can see I'm also not in frame again the issue with trying to do my other hand <laughs> if you're a youtuber and you do your nails and film them you guys know what i'm talking about it is difficult like seriously but i kept on going the struggle was real and so many times i was like sack it i am not doing it i'm just gonna do my nails 
um, but I didn't want to give up on it because it looked so gorgeous so I really wanted to make that effort and share it with you guys so I persevered and managed to get some footage which I was so happy about because I thought honestly I'm gonna look back and it's just gonna be terrible but I've managed it and hopefully you guys are enjoying it so far so yeah, I'm just concentrating on applying that marble. As I said, I wanted it delicate. I wanted it nice and I don't know. I don't know what the word is, but I didn't want it to be a full nail. Even though it is a full nail, I wanted that clear tip sh showing through. And then I'm just adding some of that chunky metallic light gold glitter over the top just to add some dimension and depth and give it a little bit more something something. So moving back to the colour blocking nail, now that some pieces have set, I'm going to come in with the bottom portion and for that I'm using Beyonce as the base and I'm going to angle that into like a, I don't even know what the word is, <laughs> I suppose it's a triangle um, and I'm going to make sure it's nice and crisp and I'm just going to add a little bit more because I didn't quite have enough product for that bottom half for it to be straight and then I'm going to top it with the metallic light gold glitter and then I'm gonna come in with custard pie. And honestly, this combo is glorious. When I top coated it, I was like, oh my God, it's beautiful. I love how it turned out. So everybody knows that when you do a colour blocking nail or an extended smile that the best part is revealing those crisp, super, super sharp lines. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm using the smooth top ceramic bit from my website, which is Glitter Planet again. I'll try to remember to link it down below, but if I forget, then just search in the e-file bit selection. And we have so many bits, but honestly, so many to choose from. So yeah, look at those crisp lines being revealed. Honestly, it's, I don't know, it's just the best feeling when it works out because not all the time it does, but when you get the hang of the actual method and learn how to do it correctly, then colour blocking can be super easy and relaxing and you just look forward to those end results, do you know what I mean? Like the, the revealing of those lines, the top coating, it all become, becomes the fun side of it rather than dreading like, oh my God, is it going to be right? is it going to turn out right because there were so many times where I filed and I was like oh my god that is crap but yeah you learn over the years how to perfect your technique and I just love how this turned out literally love it the combo couldn't have been any better um so yeah I was going to go ahead and finish filing and then we will move on to top coating So after I debulked and shaped with my e-file bit, I came in with the 100, 180 grit files from Glitter Planet and I refined my shape and finished filed and everything like that. And I was so pleased with how this set looked. So I'm gonna dust off and then we're gonna come in with super gloss and top coat everything. Okay guys, so I'm coming in with super gloss, which is the best no wipe top coat in the world. Like honestly, it is glorious. I love using it. It is so glossy and plump and shiny. I just adore it. So if you haven't got it, you definitely, definitely need to. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and top coat everything and then cure in the Nailmate lamp. Again, I'll try to remember to leave that linked down below as well. And um, we have a nice information section on the website about the lamp and it tells you everything about it. If you were wondering any more details, look how gorgeous this set is revealed. Like, honestly, I was so happy I decided to do something a little bit more adventurous than the plain sets I've been doing it on myself because honestly I was just going to do a short set again or something simple but I was like no I want to sit and I want to take the time and I want something fabulous because I deserve it 
and this is how it turned out so yeah i'm so happy with it i finalized these um with my luxury cuticle oil i love the glitter planet cuticle oils i have the coconut one and the lemongrass and of course as you all know i have it everywhere in my bag at home at work at the desk everywhere <laughs> Anyway, this is the final result. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did and you haven't already, please give it a thumbs up. And as always, remember that you are bomb.com, lit as fuck. And don't ever let anybody tell you any different because you've got this and I love you. Mwah. Bye. <laughs>